Howdy guys. All right, so in this video, I'm going to keep it really short. Um, I just wanted to go through and show you what I did, some updates I did to clean up uh, the groups and attributes before we actually bring this into Houdini Engine. I like doing this because, uh, you know, you don't want to get too many groups, too much data left on your uh, geometry. It's always a good idea to just clean these up. So let me just walk you quickly through what I did. So at the end of each one of the networks here, there were, you know, a few attributes left over and also groups. So you can always check your groups by going to the groups and attribute list. And so what I did is I just went through and I deleted um, attributes using an attribute delete node that I didn't need anymore. They don't need to be a part of the final output. So always a good idea to just remove them. Uh, and then I got rid of all the groups that I didn't need. In this case, I just used the wildcard and that basically gets rid of everything uh, for any group type, points, primitives, edges, vertices. And then finally, I went and assigned a final group that I can use for uh, the vertex colors and colorization. And generally, just to um, kind of partition apart all the major pieces of our particular prop here, it's always a good idea to do that. So you can see, I went through each one and just got rid of stuff I didn't need anymore, got rid of all the groups, and then added a group for the cabinet wood here. Same thing here group attribute delete, group delete, and the counter. So then I also went through and did all the drawers. Basically the same process, just you know cleaned up. I eventually, as I started noticing, I was just doing the same notes over and over again. I ended up making a subnet and then just um, changing the values in here. I didn't, I didn't end up making an HDA or anything for it. The subnet was easy enough to, for me to just copy and paste and move around. All right, so I just wanted to make sure I pointed that out. So at the end here, if we go to our final um, and turn on our groups and attribute list, you can see I have really nice clean groups now. So I highly recommend you um, go and do that and um, before you go and do the col colorization video next uh, because I'm going to be using these organized groups. You obviously can name them however you want and partition them um, however you want. Uh, this is just what I ended up with. So I wanted to make sure I pointed this out for you guys. All right, cool. Thanks so much.